Ever get that weird feeling a billboard is talking directly to you? Well, turns out you're not paranoid. You're just living in 2024. AI billboards are literally watching your car and changing their message specifically for you. And that attention-grabbing commercial you saw last night? Probably directed by artificial intelligence. Oh, you didn't notice? That's kind of the point. Let's dive into how AI has already changed advertising as we know it, right under our noses. Hey there, fellow digital guinea pigs. Your favorite tech skeptic, Theodore, here. Today we're pulling back the curtain on something that's been hiding in plain sight. AI's takeover of the advertising world. Not in some distant future, but right now, in ways that are both fascinating and, let's be honest, a little unsettling. We've got some mind-bending examples that'll make you question every billboard you pass and commercial you watch. So stick around, my curiosity-driven companions, as we explore just how deep this AI rabbit hole goes. Yeah, it's funny how uh, just a simple question about art jobs and AI experience can kind of lead you down this rabbit hole of like AI generated commercials. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It really shows how fast things are changing, right? Like your question about, you know, are these things going to be on resumes and job requirements? That's such a perfect example of how AI is just like weaving itself into everything we do. Yeah. Quietly. I was researching to stay ahead of the curve. It's like we're already surrounded I bet most people don't even realize how much of the art they see is made by AI. Totally. And what's so fascinating is it's not just a novelty anymore. It's actually like working. Yeah. These AI campaigns are crazy successful. I think it really shows people are more open to AI's role in art than we think. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into some specific examples. Yeah. I was blown away by that Nutella campaign, <laughs> the one where they used AI to create 7 million unique jars. Oh, wow. They sold out completely. That's a great example. It really shows how AI can tap into our desire for that personalization and exclusivity. Right. Like it wasn't just any jar of Nutella. It was your jar. Yeah. And it had a design that nobody else had. Exactly. And this wasn't just a one-off thing. Remember that Coca-Cola share a Coke campaign? Yes. Millions of unique bottle designs. AI turned like a simple bottle of Coke into a collector's item. Yeah, and it really changed how people like interacted with the brand too, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, everyone's searching for a bottle with their name or a special message on it, and it just blew up on social media. It's amazing how AI elevates something so simple, like a label, into an experience. Absolutely, and Sephora too, their virtual artist app. That thing uses facial recognition and augmented reality. Oh, well, hold on. Okay. You have to explain AR to me because I always get it confused with VR. Okay, okay, so think of it this way. VR, virtual reality, creates that completely immersive digital environment. But AR overlays digital elements onto the real world. So with Sephora's app, you're still seeing yourself, but the app is putting the makeup on top of it digitally. Oh, so it's like a virtual makeover, but without <laughs> having to actually put on makeup. Exactly, exactly. And it's been so successful for them because it takes away the guesswork of buying makeup, right? Yeah. There's no more like, oh, how's this lipstick going to look on me? You can try it on virtually and see it instantly. I was impressed by BMW's use of AI-powered billboards. Yeah. They actually detect passing BMW models and they change the message to the driver. Really? Yeah. That's smart. It is. It's such a good example of how AI can just transform even like traditional mediums like billboards. Yeah. By just tailoring that message to that person, to that driver, yeah. it creates a much more engaging experience. Like saying, hey, we see you BMW driver. Yes. We got something special for you. Exactly. And it's just a powerful way to build that brand loyalty. Okay, let's pause and appreciate how wild this is. We've gone from static billboards that everyone sees the same way to basically giant digital chameleons that shapeshift based on what car you're driving. It's like having a personalized stalker, but make it marketing. And the creepiest part? It works incredibly well. We humans are suckers for anything that feels personally crafted for us, even if it's just a glorified camera playing I spy with my little AI. Okay, so let's shift a little bit and talk about how AI is being used to actually create ads. 
this is where I start to get nervous. It yeah. feels like AI is taking over the creative process. I get it. I understand it's a valid concern. I think it's helpful to kind of think of AI as a tool that enhances human creativity, not replacing it. Okay. So like Meta, Meta launched their AI sandbox earlier this year, and that gives advertisers some pretty powerful tools. What kind of tools? So one of the coolest features is um, it's called text variation generation. And this means advertisers can put in a single piece of ad copy and then AI will instantly generate multiple variations of that. So it's like having like a team of copywriters totally. at your fingertips. And they can A-B test different versions and see what performs best. That's efficient. Think of this like having an infinite number of copywriters who can write infinite variations of your ad in seconds. But here's the kicker. They're all learning from each other in real time about what makes people click. It's like if every advertiser in history could instantly share notes about what works. Pretty mind-bending, right? And slightly terrifying if you think too hard about it. What else can the AI sandbox do? It can also do text to image. So advertisers can actually generate images from text prompts. So they can create visuals from scratch using AI. It's early days, but the potential is huge. Like it could totally change how we approach making visuals and advertising. And it's yeah. not just Meta, you know, JP Morgan Chase. Yeah. They partnered with this AI company called Persado to generate like ad copy and they saw a 450% increase in click through rates. Wait, 450? That's insane. What's their secret? It's all about data. Let that number sink in for a second. 450% better results. That's not just a small improvement. That's a maybe we should be slightly concerned about how good AI is getting at persuading us kind of improvement. It's reading our digital body language better than most humans can read actual body language. And if that doesn't make you sit up and pay attention, I don't know what will. Persado's AI engine analyzes tons of it okay. to understand what kind of language resonates with different audiences. So it can create copy that's tailored to demographics, interests, even like emotional states. So it's like having a copywriter who can just predict what words are going to make people click. It's really wild. It's pushing the boundaries of copywriting. Speaking of pushing boundaries, Amazon ads is using uh, generative AI to create um, lifestyle imagery for brands. No, generative AI, that sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. I know, right? Yeah. But it's real. Generative AI can create realistic images, like yeah. totally from scratch. So it gives brands like limitless possibilities for their visuals. So instead of hiring photographers, mm -hmm. models for photo shoots, they could just use AI to make the images. That's the idea. It removes so many creative barriers. It gives brands a ton more flexibility with their visuals and storytelling. It's exciting, but like it's also a little unsettling. But how's all of this impacting the job market for designers? And that's the big question. Right. And it's something that like everybody's trying to figure out. There's this design services platform called Designity, and they've been looking at the emergence of new design roles in the AI age. And what they're finding is really interesting. Like what what kind of roles are we talking about? Well, one is called an AI designer, which is not your typical graphic designer. OK. This involves like working with engineers to build systems for collecting data and developing AI products. Oh, wow. Even like designing the tools that are used for AI development. So it's a much more technical role. They need like a deep understanding of design, yeah. but also the tech behind AI. Absolutely. It's like a blend of art and science. It's the perfect example of how AI is creating these new opportunities for designers with specialized skills. Wow. What other roles are popping up? So another one is a conversation designer. Interesting. They focus on training AI chatbots, you yeah. know, making sure that they have natural conversations with users and that they're helpful. So it's a really interesting mix of design and linguistics. You need a deep understanding of how people communicate to do that. So they're kind of teaching AI how to be human. Yeah, in a way. Interesting. They're responsible for the personality and tone of that chatbot, making sure that it's a good experience for the user. It sounds like AI is making designers learn new skills and think way outside that traditional design box. For sure. And don't forget about how it's impacting like traditional graphic design roles. Yeah. Designers are now expected to know how to use AI art generation tools yeah. as part of their process. So it's not about the AI doing everything. Right. It's about using it as a partner. Exactly. They can use AI tools to brainstorm, to explore different concepts, even generate variations on a theme. 
It's like having a creative assistant that can instantly visualize your ideas. So AI is almost like a catalyst then. Yeah. It pushes the designers further. Yeah. Exactly. And as those AI tools get like more sophisticated and easier to use, I think we're going to see even more integration of AI into the design process. So it seems like the answer to my initial question, like do art jobs require AI experience is a pretty big yes. But it's not about replacing human creativity. It's more about augmenting it. Exactly. Exactly. Like the best campaigns we see are the ones that blend that human ingenuity with the power of AI. Humans have the vision, the emotional intelligence. They're the storytellers. AI is the data, the efficiency. It's the ability to like personalize stuff at a massive scale. A real dynamic duo. Totally. And it's not just about creating ads either. We've seen some incredible stuff with AI being used in marketing campaigns to create those personalized, engaging experiences. Remember Spotify's Wrapped campaign? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Every year, Spotify uses AI to like put together these personalized year-end playlists for each user. And it's like a social media sensation. It's true. I see it everywhere. And it's the perfect example of how AI can take all that data and make it personal and engaging. They really tapped into our listening habits and created something that feels really unique to each person. And it strengthens that connection to the platform. And then you've got Burger King always pushing the limits. Yeah. They were experimenting with AI to generate ad copy. Oh, yeah. And like they embraced the sometimes weird and kind of nonsensical output that came from it. Yeah, it's cool how they were willing to play with it. Yeah. And like use it in a way that was unexpected. It wasn't about perfect ad copy. It was about using AI to do something different. And it worked, right? right. Like those AI generated ads went viral. Totally. Got people talking. Definitely. Put Burger King on the map in a new way. Yeah, sure. And um, what about the North Face? They took a different approach. Yeah. AI powered shopping assistant. Imagine a virtual helper, right? Okay. That asks about your adventures, the weather, and then it recommends the right gear. That's so smart. It's like a personal shopper who actually knows what you need for like that climb or camping trip. Exactly. And no more scrolling through all those product pages, just recommendations for you. Tailored to you. Yeah. Based on what you need. That's where AI is all about enhancing the experience for the customer, making online shopping easier and more personal. And um, Heinz, right. Oh, yeah. They used AI to design new ketchup labels. Wow. Like a blend of kind of that innovation with that classic brand. Yeah, right. Talk about a refresh. Yeah, it yeah. really shows how you can use AI to kind of revitalize even those like super established brands. Like yes. they analyzed, you know, past designs and customer feedback and even cultural trends that make labels that felt both like new but familiar. Keeping it relevant. Yeah. Okay. And Lexus? Yeah. They're pushing the boundaries with that AI directed car commercial. Right. Like, this is AI taking the director's chair. Yeah, it's wild. It analyzes, you know, award-winning ads to figure out, like, what makes them successful. And then it writes the script, directs the shots. Wow. It's crazy. It makes mm -hmm. you wonder, what are the limits of AI's creativity? It really does. If it can direct a commercial today, what's it going to do tomorrow? Exactly. It's exciting and a little scary all at the same time. Totally. So, bringing it all back to my original question about art jobs and AI, we've got a pretty clear answer, right? I think so. It's a yes. Yeah. AI is becoming essential for anyone like working in a creative field these days. But like we've been saying, it's not about AI replacing humans. Exactly. Right. It's humans and AI working together, each playing to their strengths. Yeah. Humans, they've got the big ideas, the emotional intelligence, that connection with the audience. Yeah. AI brings the data, the efficiency, the ability to personalize things on a massive scale. It's a new era of creativity, isn't it? It really is. This partnership between human and artificial intelligence. Yeah. It's already changing how we create and advertise and how we experience the world. It's true. And there's definitely like still things to figure out, but the possibilities are huge. So, you know, as you're out there exploring AI and creativity, just be curious, try new tools. Don't be afraid to like push those boundaries. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be working with an AI on your next creative project. That's right. Well, thanks for taking this deep dive with us. My tech-savvy truth-seekers, there you have it. AI isn't just changing advertising, 
It's already revolutionized it while most of us weren't even looking. From billboards that know your car model to commercials directed by algorithms, we're living in a world where artificial intelligence is crafting messages that feel surprisingly human. Kind of makes you wonder what else AI is doing that we haven't noticed yet, doesn't it? Until next time, keep your eyes open and your skepticism healthy. This is Theodore, signing off. But don't worry, the AI billboards will keep watching for me.